You know, I had planned to do my combo videos in order. You know, I started with 22 long rifle, then 22 Magnum, then 30 carbine. Where did that ever come from? And uh, so the next obvious choice would have been 38 357. And so I've got my 44 Magnum Winchester 1892, and we're going to do a combo video today with it and something that just showed up again. Hope you'll stick around. I love it. Hi, George here, and welcome to Tales from Target Suite, where I'll share my perspective on guns and shooting, and we'll have an adventure or two that will make even a grown man smile. And I am smiling because we're doing another combo video, and I, gosh, I've got several more to go. But uh, the 44 Magnum, and I've got the Winchester 1892, the Moroku Winchester 1892, and it's a beautiful gun. In fact, let me give you a real clo uh, close up here and just talk about combos because every great performer needs a sidekick. And the sidekick for this Winchester 1892 and 44 Magnum is none other than, drum roll, than the, <laughs> than the Ruger Vaquero that you guys have either loved or hated on this channel. And, um, and I did, I sent it back to uh, customer service. They worked it over again. They got the, uh, they got the barrel clocked correctly. And so now I can actually hit the targets that I, if I aim and shoot correctly, I can actually hit my targets. And so uh, kudos, kudos to Ruger customer service for going back a second time on a gun that I bought used, had no history on, and this gun is almost 30 years old. So the fact that they would even look at it the first time, much less replace the barrel and, um, and pay for shipping both ways to get this guy to shoot right, which we're gonna do here in just a second. I just say kudos to, to a Ruger customer service. Now, let's load this guy up and shoot some reactive targets. And I've got a plethora of uh, reactive targets down there, including the tomato cans. And golly, I didn't realize you guys uh, enjoyed those tomato cans, but I got several comments in the last couple of videos about what, no more tomato? Uh, tomato cans. So uh, we have uh, been to the store and man, I have loaded up on store brand, store brand tomatoes. But we're going to save those for the 44 Magnum carbine because the velocities will really make those dance. Right now, I'm going to shoot some Arizona green tea jugs that my friend Kevin back in Houston gave me. Now, let me, uh, let me see if I can actually hit those jugs with the Ruger Vaquero. This is the old model, large frame, 44 Magnum. And I'm glad to get this thing back. I love the uh, short barrel Ruger Blackhawk, super, uh, super Blackhawk that I got from, uh, from Ruger on loan. And I really have enjoyed that short barrel. I, what I've really enjoyed are the better sights because this guy here has old cowboy sights, basically a groove and a very thin blade. And so the sight picture is not ideal. But nonetheless, I really have enjoyed this guy. And, um, and it is a beautiful gun. And now that it shoots well, I can enjoy it a lot more. So let me load this guy up here. Let's shoot a few more rounds out of the carbine. And um, 
fact, I've got a, um, I've got a green tea jug down there at about 35, 40 yards, and it's sitting on top of it is another container. So we'll see if we can bust both of those. Winged him, but I got him that second shot. I love this Winchester 1892 44 Magnum. And I've been shooting hand loads topped with, with um, Hornady XTPs, 240 grain bullets. And uh, these are moderate loads, they're not really hot. I've got some 44 Specials here, we may shoot a few of those. And then I've got some, some full house reloads, but I've also got a few hand loads here that we're gonna try, or some uh, factory ammo that we're gonna try. And this is the uh, Remington. That's thunder. This Remington 180 grain jacketed soft point, and these guys here scream out of this 20 inch barrel. This is a really interesting round. The 160 grain Extreme Hunter from Underwood Ammo. In fact, let me just—I'm going to shoot one of these right now at a tomato can. And um, but I want to show you the uh, chronograph data I got this morning real quick while I load this up. And uh, cause it really is a screamer. It's a 160 grain bullet, but it is a Lehigh Defense 160 grain extreme defense bullet. And so it's got the monolithic uh, fluid transfer, monolithic design, solid copper, and, um, and it's going really fast. And you can tell from the velocities that I just showed you. But uh, let's shoot one of these at a tomato can. I'm gonna shoot that tomato can on the left right there. And um, it's, got a, it's got a Mountain Dew on top of it. And let's uh, just see what happens to the tomato can and the Mountain Dew. I want to load up some Full House 44 Magnums in the revolver and uh, see if I can get my flinch really fully developed. Oh yeah, that's, that's got some personality, some slap in the hand. Well, let's do some 44 specials. All right, 44 specials out of the 1892. I think that was five. <laughs> hey, 
That's really sweet when you can shoot a, um, a lightweight non-magnum cartridge through your, through your magnum carbine. So uh, let me load up now with a, I'm gonna load one of these Remington 180 grain jacketed soft points at screaming feet per second. And I'm gonna load one of these Barnes Vortex 225 grain Barnes Expander. These are solid copper hollow points. Okay, first bullet in is the Barnes Expander. Second bullet in is gonna be the 180 grain Remington. So first bullet out, Remington, 180 grain. Okay, I hit the steel plate, but I didn't hit the can. <laughs> Let me go fix that. All right, we'll try it again. Remington, 180 grain jacketed soft point. All right, here goes the other can of tomatoes with the Barnes, 225 grain Barnes expander. Whoa, that was impressive. Well, that Barnes Expander was impressive, come, especially coming out of the Winchester 1892. What a great gun and what a great combination. 44 Magnum lever gun, 44 Magnum revolver. It was a good day. And I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And then if you'll click on the thumbs up button, the bell will help get you notified. But the thumbs up button sends YouTube a message that says that folks like my videos. It helps them to know how to promote. And so if you just take a second, click on that thumbs up. But thank you especially for watching. I thank you guys and girls for joining in the comments. Great stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.